the X-Plane 12 Early Access Beta is out, and it's everything I was afraid it was going to be. Hey everyone, it's Hotch Mania, and X-Plane 12 Early Access Beta is out, which means you can purchase X-Plane 12 and get access to the first beta, which is available now via the X-Plane website. And basically, if you get this, you can get early access to its first iteration of the X-Plane 12 beta and get your hands on really the first version of it. Now, of course, this is a beta, and Lemonar Research put this out for people to be able to try out and kind of experiment with. It's not the final product. I am the first to admit this, but so far, it has been the sum of all my fears. But there's good and there's bad with this, but we'll get to all that in just a second. The X-Plane 12 beta comes with a number of upgrades from X-Plane 11, including next generation weather, lighting, environment changes, including seasons, 3D sounds, as well as brand new aircraft, including the Airbus A330, Cessna Citation X regional jet, Grumman F-14, Cirrus SR-22, Robinson R-22, and there's a number of other aircraft that are there and more coming as well. Without a doubt, the star of X-Plane 12 is the lighting and the weather. The lighting engine uses new techniques to offer an HDR experience, and you're going to have really dynamic sounds that also are going to depend on the time of day, weather, and locale to really offer you more of an immersion. So when you are flying and it's raining, your runway will be wet. And then when the rain stops, the runway is still wet because it just rained. In terms of weather, X-Plane 12 also offers volumetric clouds, fog, 3D dynamic water that pools, freezes, and evaporates from ground surfaces according to environmental factors. Your aircraft windshields when it's raining will have rain that will go back thanks to the Librain integration. It's pretty cool, and they offer those kinds of things, including also there's 3D trees and an overhaul user interface and even an air traffic control system, which is capable of VFR, IFR, and other operations. So there you go. There's the good, and certainly the weather engine and the lighting is without a shadow of a doubt, a major jump from X-Plane 11. And by the way, this is somebody who's talking to you who was a major X-Plane 11 fanboy. Prior to Microsoft Flight Simulator, I was only flying in X-Plane 11. And then I made the switch to Microsoft Flight Simulator when that became more of a mature product. And I haven't gone back to X-Plane 11 really ever since. With X-Plane 12, though, there's a lot to like with the weather and the volumetric clouds. And this is a beta, but the rest of the sim is a little lackluster, namely... The ground textures are ho-hum and remind me so much of X-Plane 11. Unfortunately, the ground textures, the buildings, and everything else that's below the clouds looks more like just X-Plane 11. Maybe if you want to be generous, I'll call it X-Plane 11, 0 0.5, 0 0.99, whatever you want to do, but it's not this generational jump that we saw with Microsoft Flight Simulator when it introduced all of its amazing photogrammetry. Now listen, they're different products and... This is X-Plane 12 Beta 1, not the finished product. I'm the first to admit that here. But I got to tell you, I have less than high hopes that we'll see an upgrade for the ground texturing in the sense that the buildings, the roads, everything on the ground is still going to look a lot more like X-Plane 11 than some new generation upgrade that we may be expecting with other simulators. It really pains me that a lot of the ground textures look a lot like they did in X-Plane 11. In fact, if you had blindfolded me and brought me in a time machine over here and said, what am I looking at? I would have said, well, this is X-Plane 11, clearly. The jagged shorelines, the watercolor that looks the same whether you're in Miami or in New York, the generated buildings that look a lot like SimCity 2000. I'm being a little cruel there, but you get the idea. And the flat, basic generated ortho that is just unremarkable at all. Now, certainly, just like X-Plane 11, with enough add-ons and features and downloads, you can really massage X-Plane to look a lot better. I'm the first to admit that with X-Plane 11, but Microsoft Flight Simulator has raised the bar. If this were three years ago, this simulator would be amazing, and I'd be all over this. But unfortunately, whatever gains this early access beta has with X-Plane 12 in terms of the weather and the clouds, which are absolutely phenomenal and very, very good, and I have no problems with them at all, the rest of the experience is still very much lacking, in my opinion. Now, there could still be more betas coming out. There will be more updates, and there could be better features that are there. But so far, in its first iteration, I'm a little less than impressed by what I see. I'm concerned that I'm not going to see anything much better with the ground stuff, and we will need a little bit of time for the third-party products to catch up to be able to massage it. But ultimately, the visuals of Microsoft Flight Simulator 
are still vastly superior. Remember when Microsoft Flight Simulator came out? What was the first thing everybody did? Find your own house. And when you found your own house, it wasn't a facsimile of it. I mean, it really looked like it, right? It was a pretty good rendition of it because the roads, the neighborhoods, everything kind of looked there because it was using satellite imagery. Here, not so much. Certainly flying through some of the larger cities, it does a reasonable job of it. And once some of the third-party developers come on board with X-Plane 12, it'll be great. Certainly ground textures are more of an issue if you're flying VFR in low altitudes. And as somebody who admittedly flies mostly airliners, then the experience could be a lot better in terms of being able to not be as reliant on there. When you're flying at 30,000 feet for most of the flight, does it really matter that you can't see the ground all that well or that the ground buildings don't look exactly like they do in real life? Probably not. And I think that's a fair point. The issue, though, is that overall the visuals still are easily a step below Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I do believe that it's very fair to compare the products. Whether Lemon Art Research truly wants to bypass and become the top simulator or they're just looking to carve out their own niche of the market and, and stay there, when you talk about flight simulation, inevitably you are going to compare the different products that are out there because they offer that. Probably the best upside right now is that the flight modeling is going to be superior in X-Plane 12 compared to Microsoft Flight Simulator and a lot of airliners are going to be X-Plane 12 ready very soon. The day that X-Plane 12 came out with early access, there's really not a whole lot of products that are available yet, but we already know for a fact that Flight Factor and Tolis and a number of other developers have promised that they will have X-Plane 12 ready airliners nearly off the bat. Remember, this took Microsoft Flight Simulator two years to get the Phoenix A320 and the PMDG 737. So we're not going to have that kind of a lag factor where you're reliant on just awful default aircraft until then. Speaking of awful default aircraft, I do need to mention that there is the A330 in here, but it's not fully modeled yet. In fact, it still uses a default Boeing <laughs> FMC for its flight computer, which is just weird, but uh, that's a work in progress. I can look past that at this point. I was never really into that, but it's a default aircraft. The bottom line, though, is X-Plane 12 certainly delivers on the visuals up in the air. Once you're up in the air and through the clouds, the clouds, the sunsets, all that looks fantastic. The weather engine, really great. The problem is everything below that on the ground still very much feels like X-Plane 11. Hopefully, they'll fix it. Hopefully, we'll get some more stuff that's in there, more enhancements. But for the time being, it's still a little meh for my taste. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the X-Plane 12 Early Access Beta if you've played around with it and what your thoughts are and what the future is for X-Plane. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube lets know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Hotch Mania. We'll talk again real soon.